Hello everyone, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is 25 Plus Life. And if you're new to the channel, Carrie and I have been married for about 28 years. And a few months ago, Carrie, we said, to heck with it. Our kids moved out. We sold everything we own. We travel Literally. around. We live full time in our RV. Yeah. And we do this without a safety net, no storage units. Nope. There's no house. No rooms full of stuff at family's house. Nope. This is just <laughs> Carrie and I all gone. and our take on this beautiful country that we live in. So today, we're waking up in a good day at Lakewood Camping Resort here in Myrtle Beach. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. I say something to you that I'll ask you a couple of questions today, Gary. Celtics or Lakers? Uh, Celtics. Okay, now, I, I ask know. that question very simply <laughs> because as we stay here and we talk to people here, everybody has a favorite or a place that they prefer one over the other. Okay. Okay. And in talking to people here at Lakewood, there is more people here that like Lakewood far more than any other of these mega resorts here in Myrtle Beach. Just just the way it ran. Well. So as passionate as some people are about sports and some people aren't, uh, there is definitely a lot of passion and that's what brought us out here is to see what all the hype was, mm -hmm. what all the hoopla is here. So we're gonna give you our, our take, our perspective on Lakewood. So I'm gonna start off with saying right off the bat, Lakewood is a heavy or i should say lakewood is a christian heavy mm -hmm. rv resort and that being said at no time would carrie and i ever solicited never were we approached uh, there was no pamphlets left on our door anything like that they do have themed nights here out on the island and last night they had a christmas tree lighting uh, they did have a christian youth group doing some uh, singing. They were phenomenal though. And it was absolutely really amazing. Great. And they had, you can still <laughs> see the smoke on the island, the remnants of a fire pit. But we're gonna walk you down, show you a few more things and, and show you what the big attraction is here. All right, we do have our official bracelets on. Uh, that is one thing that I understand the reasoning for it. I'm just Wonder not a big fan. Eyes. Yeah, is, and <laughs> just so you know, Karen and I have been married so long that we don't plan how we're gonna dress today. No. It just happens and uh, we do this quite often so you know it's not like we're trying to twin but uh, it does happen so much so that carrie and i our eyeglass prescription it's about the same now from <laughs> our latest update anyhow over here we have a trading post which is a you know camp store they have an ice cream shop inside i believe some sandwiches as well there's a laundromat that runs 24 7 uh, which was actually really handy uh, out here again is that island and you have a couple of these lakes here these lakes are stocked with fish, um, although I did not get to fish uh, because of my own busy schedule. Circle but back to the laundry for a second. So it's $2, it's coin op. It's $2 to wash and 25 cents for seven minutes to dry. I don't Just know. FYI. I would have put fishing as a top priority, but that's okay. No. But they do have- You can't fish stinky. Well, you, <laughs> so if you're not into the fishing, and you don't have laundry to do, they do have a little uh, miniature golf course over here and they do have paddle boats. So you can, you and your friends can paddle around these little lakes. This area here, there are literally hundreds of campsites. And I, I don't have the exact number on me, but there's literally hundreds, especially as you get down to the beach. They offer a couple of different points of camping. They have oceanfront camping. They have what we have, which is a lakefront camping. And then they have just the middle of the rows, which is just basically camping. camping. Uh, all of, from everything that we've seen has at least 30 amp service, full hookups, no issues there. Water pressure has been great. No problem. The one downside that I had marked was the picnic tables here are years overdue. But if Bye. you look over in the corner, arriving last night, a fresh truckload a brand new picnic tables. So other than that, it's been fairly decent. Uh, as far as rates here, I'll put a link below to the website so you can check out their late rates because they do change. Today is in December, so it's kind of off season. Uh, but I will say for Thanksgiving, 
this place was packed. I think all of the, the big RV resorts in the area were just jam full of people for Thanksgiving that long weekend, which was nice. Uh, check-in time here is 3 p.m. They do offer an early check-in option. Uh, I believe it's from anytime after noon, uh, which is an extra 25 bucks. Uh, if you check in, I think an hour before or something like that, it's kind of prorated. Yeah. They only charge like 15 bucks plus tax. Everything has tax. So you kind of learn that. But as far as people go here, wow, everybody here, super friendly. It's been great. So as you can see, down to your left, is all the lakefront camping spots here across is residents that whether they rent them out like airbnbs or they just summer rentals winter rentals stuff of that nature and then what we're seeing here is it looks like they're starting a massive renovation project uh, i believe some of the bathhouses are being replaced uh, because this is what the newer ones look like here. Uh, as you see, they're pretty new and pretty updated. Some of the older ones, which are way off in the distance, straight ahead there, um, those are the ones that are being replaced. So all in all, that was another thing when we first got here. We said, well, maybe we, you yeah, know, mm, but it does look like they're starting to put some money back into the place. Whether or not it's been long overdue, we don't know. It's our first time here. So as far as the way everything is set up here, everything is essentially on a grid system. So you have like 4th Avenue, 5th Avenue, 6th Avenue, and it goes all the way out. So it makes it easy getting to places um, from the lake back in sites all the way to the ocean. It's about a 10 minute walk if that. So really not bad. And then what I can only imagine in the summer mm. is an amazing place for children. They have a gargantuan water slide park, a couple of pools outside. They do have an indoor pool, which we were not able to use because we don't like to bathe with other people. And it was honestly, it was just uh, one of those things where every time we went down, there was a family in there. We really didn't want to disrupt anybody's family time. For those of you who know us, we're not very social. <laughs> um, unless we, unless um, you're the couple we spent two hours with last night, a nice older couple from Long Island yeah. that we spent about two hours with. Uh, didn't catch their names, but didn't catch their names. <laughs> awesome, awesome people gave us a ton of advice yeah. about Alaska and just this lifestyle in general as they wind down their travel days and they become snowbirds mm -hmm. from down here. Awesome time, and I couldn't think of a better way to end our time here. It's great. So we're going to take you down to the other end here and we'll check in with you in just a couple of seconds. So we're going to bounce back in here. One of the coolest things that this place has is they have their own coffee shop. It's going to be coming up over to our right. Um, some of these videos that we do, we try not to, uh, especially on a Saturday morning when everybody's packing up and leaving. They got people out in their, you know, they're out in their pajamas hooking up and everything. We try not to show too much of that. Um, but this here is the coffee house. And I gotta say, they deliver up some uh, Starbucks coffee in there. This is a rumor. But yeah, so those of you who watched these videos before, if you're new to the channel and you want to check out some more of these videos, you, you have to, the way we shoot videos, is never to invade someone's space. I think anybody who's doing review videos like this that gets all up in somebody's sight, it's kind of rude. Um, but we do shoot with a wider angle so that you can kind of see past Carrie and I to get a better idea of what you're working with here. But never endorse anybody filming somebody in their pajamas <laughs> because that's kind of just, I think that's just obnoxious. I had to get that off my chest. That was that. But as we come up here, this place, as you see the dumpsters, they are uh, gutting some of these uh, bathhouses. I believe all new fixtures, all new, basically they'll match the gray ones that are up there, I believe by the time they're done. This here is what they call oceanfront pro uh, camping. A little bit off to the left is some shaded stuff. But as you can see, as you get out there further, it's wide open. For those of you tech guys, 
and gals with Starlink. Starlink here has been amazing. I mean, like I say, it's been blazing fast, but I think we're looking at about 100 megs down. And it was about, it, no, 20 up. And we use Starlink predominantly as a backup. Uh, but I will say, I could totally understand it being our primary in locations like this because it was perfect for streaming multiple devices xbox gaming never had an issue that was awesome and t-mobile and verizon both five bars lte yep, for same. those of you keeping track there and then on this side here you have cornhole and they have uh on their schedule they have times where they actually have like little mini tournaments out here and it was nice to see a lot of husbands and wives out here playing all hours of the night out there you have a humongous dog we're not going to challenge him because i think he could take me to wrestle a match but these here as we look at these empty sites these here are your ocean front uh sites here these here are back in sites as you get further up you have some pull throughs and this is massive if i had to guess i'm gonna say it's about a half mile to three quarters of a mile just straight rv parking which was absolutely great. Yep. yep. And we're going to get out of this way because that's what happens. <laughs> but take a focus on this right here. Look at this. Now, <laughs> we just watched somebody run over their trash on the way out and just leave it behind. But uh, you'll have that every once in a while. Whenever you're, whenever you're, see, right there. That's what happens when you put your trash on the curb and you pull your RV out without looking and you just leave it behind. But I will tell you that there'll be somebody here from Lakewood within about five minutes to come scoop that up. But look at this. If you are a kid and you are looking to go to your parents camping, I wish this stuff was around when I was a kid because wow, they have a lazy river, which I am all about. They have tons of uh, the slides and way back there is a pool and then they have an ice cream shop a great information desk that they're redoing some uh, work here as well and I'll tell you this uh, a little spoiler as Carrie and I will be reviewing a few more of these mega resorts down here in Myrtle Beach over the next few weeks next couple of months uh, this here had this got us right from the beginning where we first pulled in admittedly we we're like oof this is not like some of the stuff that we've seen in other parks okay and we acknowledge that yeah. But when we came down here, because this is really what it's all about, is, is, you know, the ocean is literally right there. What this became about very quickly was, wow, they really know how to do beach front activities. You have basketball courts. You have a jungle gym for the kids. I think that's what they call them still. You have swing sets, you have uh, like bocce ball courts uh, or shuffleboard. The indoor heated pool is down here. There's food, there's really well done. And one of the things that Carrie and I noticed above a lot of uh, camp resorts that we've been to is that this place was hopping with children. Like there were tons of kids playing nicely <laughs> and doing their thing on, on the gym and on the swings, it, it's been great. So it's something, you, you know, you, you can always tell where you are by watching other people, right? And watching these kids play, like they were literally playing. Something that I don't think we've seen done in quite a while. Yes, no um, handheld devices of any kind. Yeah, it, that's, it, <laughs> it yeah, that's was a good really point. Weird. This was no Game Boys, yeah, this was nothing. no whatever was the weird. coolest thing is out. They were literally like swinging. Um, but this was the main attraction. This is really what did it for Carrie and I every day. Was just this little jaunt down here to the beach. And you just walk out here. And then boom. But these are those shuffleboard courts right here. And you went through them. That, well, I believe it was a bocce ball court. And then here. But look at this. It, it's just wide open. And absolutely incredible. Look at this. And again, families out here playing. A lot of shore fishermen will come out here as well. And today, today in the uh, midst of uh, December, it's about 72 degrees. So it's other than warm this morning. other than that water being cold, <laughs> not too bad. 
So the only thing I'm going to say about this place, the negative uh, point I'm going to make it, and when we go through on our way back here, I'll point this out, was the hookups here are a little low to the ground. So the water spigots, the, the, the water spigots themselves are about maybe six inches off the ground. The electrical box is very low which made for hooking up with a, um, what should we call it, uh, a surge protector. Um, a little rough because it's so low to the ground. If there was ever a thing with flooding, you know, your surge protector would be under a foot of water. Um, we didn't have any flooding or anything, so I, we were fine. But the hookup, again, was just kind of rough, a little low to the ground. I think if you're staying here on the ocean side, as I look at some of these hookups, these are a lot higher, um, and it could be just the lakeside ones, but the you know differences down here. They do have, you'll see some of these have concrete pads. The majority of them do not. Um, that is something to keep in mind as well. Um, if you're one that likes that concrete pad for you know leveling and stability and stuff. Lots of sand. But yeah, there's definitely lots of sand. Um, yeah, so maybe there's a couple of downsides, but I mean, it's camping, right? So you kind of, one was the other. I think if they are going to continue the trend that they're on with the renovations and the upgrades, maybe start putting in more concrete pads like some of the other resorts down here, you really have here a wholesome family campground resort, which however you want to call it. Uh, and I will say that the off-season rates, especially for this year, were actually really, really well. Um, I heard some people saying if you stay multi-nights, uh, multi-months, they were down to like 28 bucks a night, which pretty darn cheap in my book. Um, like four months. But yeah, if, if I'm just going to shoot over here real quick here. This is site 1809. And as we go over here, this is what I'm talking about. And, and I think on the lakeside, it, they're a little shorter. But this is where the water is, right here. And then on the electrical, we're talking like right up here for the lakeside sites. Other than that, you know, is it a deal breaker? No, but it is something to know about ahead of time. But yeah, that is it. I'm not going to make this review any longer. I think uh, as far as here goes, and, and we've stayed at quite a few of these places now, and, and I think at some point, We'll do another video comparing this one to Ocean Lakes, mm -hmm. which is right over the, the other side. Um, but I would say if you're going on a star rating, I'd give this four out of five. I think... On off-season, I wouldn't come here in se full season. Yeah, full season, no, that's another thing. Full season is incredibly packed, so like... Um, but spacing-wise, it is here. I think a little more spaced out than we've seen it like Pirate Land. Like we wouldn't even entertain no, Pirate Land no. <laughs> because you're literally on top of each other. Um, there's a little more spacing here, but I think if they continue on the path, this could easily be five stars. Um, so yeah, we'll stay at that. Maybe three and a half to four stars for this review. Not really Cisco and Ebert over no. here, but we are just two people wandering around. Yeah. So if you made it this far in the video, we appreciate you taking the time to give us a thumbs up if you've seen something you like here. We also ask that you kindly subscribe to the channel and let Carrie know that these videos and me want, making her walk everywhere is worth it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Lots until, of stops and starts. <laughs> <laughs> until next week, I'm Bob. I'm Carrie. And this has been 25 Plus Life. Feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still